Quick background that we can target PSMA um, in different ways, um, but broadly speaking, using large molecules like antibodies or small molecules called small molecules. Um, and then within the radionuclide field, in terms of therapy, we have betas and alpha emitters. Um, and each one is, is different properties. Uh, this particular study combined um, an alpha emitter that was um, transmitted via an antibody plus a beta emitter using a small molecule delivery. Um, and this is a phase one portion of a phase one, two study um, with the primary endpoint of, of safety. Um, so patients with metastatic CRPC pre-treated, um, about two thirds had prior chemo, about two thirds had at least two AR pathway inhibitors. Um, there was a, at least a minimum requirement for PSMA positivity on a scan, so at least one lesion had to have uptake greater than liver. Um, nothing else was specified. Uh, and then they got a dose of that combination, Actinium J5-1, um, immediately followed by Lutetium PSMA INT. Um, and then they were allowed to have a second uh, cycle of the same combination at eight weeks. Uh, the, the fixed, uh, there was a fixed dose of uh, lutetium PSMA INT, the same kind of dose and schedule that's being used in the phase three splash study. Um, and three different cohorts of escalating radioactivity of actinium with actinium G5.1. Um, the bottom line is that there were two dose limiting toxicities, uh, a, a patient with grade two thrombocytopenia and a patient with grade three th thrombocytopenia that uh, didn't recover enough to get the second dose on time. Um, besides that, uh, it was generally grade one across the board, so um, thrombocyte th thrombocytopenia was also generally grade one, about half. Um, of the overall cohort, uh, with a couple of patients had grade two and grade three. Their stomia was about three, uh, I'm sorry, two thirds of the patients, um, uh, grade one, and then some various other um, adverse events. Uh, out of the 18 patients, 94% had a PSA decline after treatment, and 61% of them had at least a 50% uh, PSA decline. Uh, radiographic responses on the poster, there's a complete response in the liver, for instance, and circling tumor cell count uh, via the cell search uh, methodology um, control decline um, in, with five out of seven um, transitioning from unfavorable to, to favorable. So the conclusion is that that combination is feasible and tolerable. Um, the plan is to move on into phase two um, during phase one, Point Biopharma was providing lutetium um, PSMA INT. Uh, now that they're linked with Lanthius, that's no longer happening, so we are getting an IND and we'll just label it ourselves uh, with the plan for phase two once we get that.